Hey YouTube, it's January 18th, and I'm Tiago, and I'm gonna bring you awesome science stuff, cause that's what I wanna do today. Yeah, it's been a while. I need practice. Just bear with me. So, nature is kind of sort of amazing. Just the fact that we're all living, breathing, and thriving in our own things is indicative of nature's ability to adapt and overcome many different situations. Um, but humans have a few issues. We can't survive in really high pressure areas like the Mariana Trench. We also can't go out into space and just float around without anything. So we are not the most resilient creatures on this planet. Most life on Earth is adapted to living in a single strict set of environmental standards and any deviance from this will cause them to die. But one group of animals has succeeded in adapting to many different kinds of environments, and this is the tardigrade, also known as a water bear or a moss piglet. These extremely cute animals have adapted to living anywhere from the Mariana Trench with anglerfish to the top of the Himalayas to your own backyard. Tardigrades are creatures that are known as polyextremophiles. Um, these creatures can survive in physical or geologically extreme conditions that wouldn't otherwise kill most life on Earth. They can survive extreme temperatures, extreme pressures, and they're really resistant to radioactivity. Note that these aren't like huge creatures. Tardigrades are extremely small. They average around one millimeter in size. The biggest get to about one and a half millimeters. Um, to put this in scale, if you take a dime and you look on President Roosevelt's eye, that's about the size of a tardigrade. You can actually see one under a really low power microscope. Um, you can find them in moss around anywhere. And they're really easy to explore in this fa uh, fashion. The water bear was originally discovered in 1773 by Johann August Fram Gotze. And he gave the water bear the name, I, I'm, I can't pronounce this, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just going to hold it right here, and you can read it, and I'm just going to keep my hand up like this for the rest of this segment. But um, that name was eventually replaced in 1777 by Lazzaro Spallanzani, um, to tardigrade, which literally means slow walker. Um, this original name, which I am still holding for some reason, um, was given because it means little water bear and the tardigrade moves oh no i let it go anyway it moves like a bear but like really really small but what really sets tardigrades apart from the rest of the animal kingdom is their physiology um they are capable of surviving nearly everywhere on this planet if not everywhere they've been found in himalayas they've been found in really really hot springs and solid ice and ocean sediments. So they're really resilient creatures. I cringed a little bit when I read this, but um, scientists put tardigrades in boiling pots of water uh, up to 151 degrees Celsius for a few minutes, and tardigrades were completely unharmed. They also brought them down to one Kelvin, which, and within a few minutes they were all right they were just like walking around eating their own food and moving along with their lives tardigrades can be put in really extreme pressure situations they can survive places that have as many as 6,000 atmospheres of pressure which is about six times the pressure of the Mariana Trench um, they've also been taken to outer space and NASA scientists just let them roam out in space for a little bit and they were completely fine. Tardigrades are also incredibly resilient to radiation. The aforementioned tardigrade that were put into space also had to go through processes of being exposed to UV radiation and solar radiation and gamma bursts and nearly all of them survived that and after being rehydrated and brought back to earth despite all the DNA damage that they incurred because of being exposed to all this radiation 68% of them survived. So, um, through these experiments, scientists have found that tardigrade can actively repair their DNA to their original form, which is something most animals like us can't do. 
So, I hope you fell in love with the tardigrade. They are amazing, beautiful creatures, and they're so adorable. Come on, just look at them. Just really, just look at them. And I will see you next time with another awesome video about whatever I feel like doing. See you guys. Hello, Mr. Orwell. Hello, Einstein. How are you this fine day? Wonderful, Mr. Orwell. Have you heard about these tardigrades? They can survive my theory of relativity in space! You really need a life, Mr. Einstein. There, there. There, there. There, there.